Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Paul from G Motor Cars. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2015 Ford Transit cargo van. This has 92,000 miles, a worker's package in the back, so you got shelves and a bulkhead. And guys, it's not white, it is red. We're just stumbling across it right now. Let's sneak right past everything else. Make sure it's unlocked. First, we'll go over the exterior of the vehicle, take a look at the underneath, and then we'll turn her over, see how she sounds. Looks like the previous owner had installed an LED light bar in the front grill, as you can see down there. Front bumper is a ABS plastic, non-painted front bumper. Looks like there are small scuffs right under the side view mirror on the driver's side. Tires are in very, very good condition. Deep, deep tread. And the rotors look at least half. Pads are almost brand new, it looks like. Looking for any major dents or dings or scratches. I can't notice any at the moment on the driver's side. You do have a nice ladder rack on the roof. That is actually the same brand that Comcast uses. So very, very good um, you know, ladder rack. Back as well, or just again, here's a little nick on the side of the van. And that's actually it for the entire thing, not even any dings. Looks like they have aftermarket flashing lights. You can just take a look at the rear bumper. Glass on the rear as well. No major dents, dings, or scratches. Now, as you can see, it's a bit of a tight fit, so we're actually gonna walk around to the other side of the vehicle and take a look. Beautiful weather we're having today here in Chicago. All right. Looking at the passenger side again, we're looking for any dents, dings, or scratches. Nothing jumps out yet. The hinge has a little bit of wear. We do see this with a lot of the cars we sell, just either paint chip or rust. This one does not have rust, but she's got some paint chip, not a big deal. Glass on the side. We'll go ahead and open it up. Looks like they had a uh, what is it, an amp or an inverter, sorry. Adrian steel bulkhead with swing out door kit. Nice $95 option. If you ever want to puck lock it or padlock it, you can do that. Three Adrian steel shelves, two on one side, one on the other. Nice rubber flooring as well. Then you get got some tie downs, some overhead lights. They definitely had some stuff wired up like that purple LEDs my guess they had more here and they just took it out when they sold it so definitely not bad it saves you about 1500 bucks let's go ahead and close that back up oh and we'll actually take a look at the door so you can see how clean they may or may not be and in this case clean Continue down the side of the van again. No major dents, dings, uh, scratches to the naked eye. Rear hinge has a wee bit of wear on it, like they all do. Well, let's take a look at the underneath. This is the rear. We're gonna do a quick pan of the frame. And then we'll pause. And then let's go ahead and do the same of the up front. Now that we've taken a look at the van, let's go ahead, turn the key and turn her over. Oh, actually looks like right by the door there is a ding. All right, fuel door right here. We'll go ahead and climb in. Driver's door skin, you have the power windows, power locks. Uh, you got your side view mirror controls as well as headlight controls. Looks like some smudge or grease here. Little hole there. No smell in the car. So I'm not sure if it was from a tool or something else. You got some grime on the seat as well. As I mentioned, you can walk through this one or if you want, you can close the door. 12 volt auxiliary, etc. $92,125 on the odometer. All right, we're 
put the key in and turn it over. It turns over in 25 degree weather. Oh, actually 37 today. I got lucky. Not a hiccup. All your air conditioning controls are right here in center. Radio controls as well. Why you have a side or rear view mirror is beyond me. Nice dome light, we'll keep that off. Mirror, hello. And that's it. Let's go ahead and put the window down, give it a rev so you can see how she sounds. I'm not gonna use the word perfect, but she purrs. Put it quickly into drive, go forward, go backward. Oh, oh. Shifts, no problems. If you guys have any more questions, you can give us a call at 847 228 1900 and ask for Paul or check a, take a look on our website at gmotorcars.com. If she's no longer on the website, then she has sold. I'll take this time to thank you guys for viewing this vehicle here with me today and enjoy the rest of your day.